Azure IoT Central is a SaaS solution for implementing IoT applications. Um, it's actually great for connecting devices, displaying the data, um, establishing simple rules on that data, um, and also good for exporting data to some storage to implement some cold path scenarios. Uh, and more recently, allows you to export also data to event hubs or message bus services in order for you to implement real-time or near real-time solutions leveraging IT central data uh, generated by devices. And Jeff and Vivian are here on the IT show to demo exactly that. Hi everyone, you're watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and uh, today we have Vivian and Jeff with me. Welcome, guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. So both of you guys are in the Azure IoT Central team. Yes, we are. And you're here to talk about exporting data from devices that are connected to your IoT Central applications into some something else, right? Storage That's and other. That's right. And we we'll talk about that exactly, right? Yes. Before we jump into that, quick intros, both sure. of you guys. Yeah, my name is Jeff Prince Bay. I'm on the Azure IoT Central team and here to show you how our continuous data export works. Cool. And, and Vivian? And I'm Vivian. Um, I also I work with Jeff on the IoT Central team. I'm program manager. And yeah, excited to show this brand new functionality. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think export to blob storage is something that people have already started using, right? That's um, correct. So you, I want to learn a bit more about this one. And then yeah. we also have new scenarios enabled now in IT Central. Mm -hmm. So what would someone need to export data from IT Central? Data arrives from devices in IT Central. You can do analytics. You can use dashboards to visualize data. So what is the use? What are the, the case studies or what are the particular uh, use cases for that? So currently, we have data export going to Azure Blob Storage. Okay. And once your data is outside of IoT Central, it's really it's unleashed. So you can use many other services to work on that data. For example, you can visualize that data in Power BI with okay. our existing Azure IoT Central Analytics solution template, which is an app source. Mm -hmm. um, you can uh, run that data through you know your data warehouse, and you can basically transform that data and use that data however you want to. Okay. And you're no longer uh, limited by just the, whatever is currently in IoT Central, your application itself. Okay, that's right. so that's about that's like what we call the cold pass, right? So basically, right. You, you send to a storage blob and things happen after that, right? But I heard someone told me that now you can actually do a bit more and be closer to real time on the data export from IT Central, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, the nice thing with the cold storage is you can store your data out for years on end and you always have access to it. But it's not the best if you need to do things right now. Okay. Exporting to things like event hubs or service bus, which gives you messaging that you can respond to in near real time, okay. allows you to do various scenarios around streaming. This could be things like having custom logic for ML, for alerts. You can run it through an Azure function, and everything gets triggered as the data is coming through, okay. so you can respond quickly. So better integration of IoT central application into eventually existing ones or extended Correct. application or functionalities, yes. right? Correct. And yeah. I want to see that, right? Let's so show you. I think you came with some demos. All right. So we are in our Fabricam IoT Central application. Okay. Uh, we have a few devices set up in here. Mm -hmm. This is set up using our Dev Kits uh, application template. Okay. And if we expand the left nav over here and we click on this continuous data export option, we will see that we have one data export currently running. Okay. That's exporting to a Blob Storage account. Okay. So that's great for us to store all of our data for as long as we'd like okay. and have access to it. But today, we're going to add an additional data export. Yep. You can create up to five per application. Mm -hmm. And we're going to export to Azure Event Hubs. Okay. And so I'm going to give my export a name. We'll say export for streaming. Okay. And from here, I can pick any namespace that okay. I have in my subscription. So you have created the Event Hubs instance. I have. An Event Hub under that instance of Event Hub service. That's correct. OK, got it. Yes. And so I now select that from the dropdown. Yep. And then I can also pick my Event Hub. There's only one in here. You may have multiple. OK. Uh, I pick the Event Hub. There are three different kinds of data that you can export. Okay. We're going to select all three of them. Mm -hmm. That includes the actual telemetry that you're sending from your device, okay. as well as some of the metadata that you're getting from IoT Central. OK. And so let's save that. And 
that'll start up. It'll take a few seconds for everything to get up and running. Yep. While that's going, um, you'll see a status here. Once that turns green and you see running, you're good to go. Okay. So we're going to flip over, just so that we can see what we're getting out of here. Mm -hmm. We're going to flip over to our terminal here. Okay. Event Hubs is capable of integrating with lots of different services. Mm -hmm. You can do functions, logic apps, flow, mm -hmm. Uh, ML, lots yeah. of different things. Like it's a pub-sub oh. platform, right? Exactly. It's yeah. very Publish generic. Publish messages, consume them. On right. And so you can put it almost anywhere. We're going to start here with just a simple shell script yep. so that we can see what's going on. Okay. Um, so we, we start that up. Okay. And we can see we're already receiving messages. Okay. So the messages are formatted as JSON. Mm -hmm. And we get various different kinds. The one at the bottom here that we see is just some telemetry data we got from our device. Okay. And these will keep coming in as we make changes to our devices, as we send more telemetry. We see we just got okay. another one. And, and that'll just keep coming as more stuff comes in. Okay. So you have the ability to do that with Event Hubs. You can get the exact same information using Service Bus if you want something with a little bit more control, okay. transactionality. Like topics, messages. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. But Event Hubs is great for getting lots of throughput. Yeah, and actually, you don't have to care about the scaling of that, exactly. right? Right day, we have like one event every two hours, and the day after, you have a big something happening. Correct. And you have tons of events coming through, and you can actually totally ingest that. That's correct. Yes. Awesome. So now we're enabling cold pass and warmer pass. We're yes. talking about like, is it hot pass? Is it warm pass? It's warmer pass. Yes. Uh, right. that, that allows to implement these kind of new. Uh, you know, um, solutions Correct. for different kind of problems. Yeah. That's right. Okay. It never stops. Actually, IT Central um, is extended day over day. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Thank we you. should expect to have more and more to come on IT Central. The goodness is being a SaaS solution. You have it, it's deployed, right. and you get the new features for free. Always there. Awesome. Yeah. That's right. Jeff Vivian, thanks for coming on the IT Thank Show. You. Thanks for Thank watching. You. Don't forget to subscribe.